So we've got uh, an integral. This is a surface integral, meaning we add up things over the surface, okay? The little circle means it's gotta be a closed surface. Now D is related to what? Electricity or magnetism? Electricity, okay? It's got a constant in there, but we think about this as the electric field, okay? The dot DS means the normal components of. All right, then we got an equal sign. This is a volume integral, and since we have a closed surface, that means that we can integrate the volume inside of the closed surface. And this rho dot dv basically means adding up the charges inside. We can have a charge density spread over, you know, a, the sphere or a cube or something like that. But we're adding up the charge inside the closed surface. Now, the closed surface can be any shape, but um, we're going to start with a uh, start with a sphere. Okay. So um, keep that in mind as we look at the picture of what's going on. Lights. Okay, so um, what we have here are two point charges. Yes, a point charge can't exist, but this is what we're, you know, it has to be a solid volume. But if you think of this as a point charge, you've got a negative five point charge and a positive five point charge. And so that's going to give rise to an electric field. So we get, uh, we're not graphing the electric field here, but around the negative point charge, what would the electric field look like? Now this isn't Maxwell's equations, this is uh, just the Coulomb field, right? It's gonna be radially inward. It's gonna be a lot like gravity. It's a one over R squared field, and so if you put a test charge in, it's gonna want to go towards, the push is gonna be towards the negative five. All right, over here, what's the electric field gonna look like? It's positive, so like a sunburst, yeah, it's gonna be uh, outward like a uh, like negative gravity, like a push away, because if you put a positive test charge in there, it would push it, and no matter where you'd push it, it'd be radially outward, okay? So I am graphing the um, electric field here. So when I get close to that negative five, you see that the electric field is radially inward. Okay? It's not perfect because uh, it's not a point here, but uh, uh, you can see the electric field over the, uh, over the surface. Now in the equation, we're supposed to integrate, but we can't show continuous uh, electric field here. So you think about it as uh, the idea of adding up these vectors. And then here, you can see that it's radially outward. So all we're doing on the surface of the sphere is graphing the electric field, okay? So what does the uh, equation say? The equation says that if you add up the electric field on the surface of the, uh, over the closed surface, you're going to get the charge inside, okay? the amount of charge that's inside that closed surface. So if you um, think about it here, we've got ins and outs, blues in, reds out, okay? So the ins are always gonna equal the outs if we add them up because we don't have any charge inside. So uh, mathematically, if we add them up, okay, so here you see there are more reds going out but look at the magnitude of the ins. The ones going in have a greater magnitude. So if we add all those up, uh, then we would get zero. Why? Because we integrate the charge inside, and there's no charge inside. <coughs> but if we come up close here still, we've got no charge inside. But if we had a charge inside, then we have a positive, a divergence. So you can see here that we don't have the ins equaling the outs. Here we got all outs. So we add those up, and there's going to be a constant and so forth in there, but it's going to equal positive 5. So you have a net divergence. Here, 0, 0 inside, 0 inside, ins equal the outs, but, okay, still here, as soon as I get a charge inside, so now here I've got a negative charge inside, and you can see that there is a convergence. So this, uh, you add up all the 
uh, electric field vectors, and then they would equal a negative number. What happens if, so zero, zero, zero. Now we integrate the charge, so we add up the charge inside. If I put both of them in, hard to tell, but you can see we've got ins and outs. And were we to add everything up, and adding things up smells a lot like an integral, uh, but we're adding them up, and you can see that the ins would balance the outs in this case. Here, divergence. Here, convergence. And here, well, if we uh, sum the charges inside, that's the volume integral, then uh, we get a zero sum of charges, and then the ins are going to equal the outs. Now, uh, remember we got that little dot ds in there. I'm just showing you the electric field, the unadulterated electric field, but this is the tangential components. These are the norm, I'm sorry, not tangential, the normal components. So the dot ds says, no, 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 not the electric field, but the normal components of the electric field. Okay? So here, this is truly what we add up to get zero. We got zero, we're going to get zero here. I got the stray zero charge here, but I can put the zero charge in here. And if I bring this up to us, um, there's zero charge inside this, uh, uh, this group of people. You guys can step up if you want. Uh, okay, but normal component, divergence, normal component, convergence, normal components, adds up to zero. Does that make sense? Okay, so it doesn't matter if we have a sphere, we, have, we can have any closed surface. So what if we had a cube? Okay, that's a closed surface. We've got six sides, but the ins are going to equal the outs. So if I get close to here, on five sides of the cube, there's outs. But you can see on the right side of the cube, the outs are small, and then you can take a look at the negative magnitudes, and since the negative magnitudes are so great, we add up all the negative magnitudes, and it's going to equal the outward magnitudes. And then, still here, still here, okay, it's going to be balanced, and whoop! And then uh, here, we've got divergence, and let's see, okay, so we're in, inside the sphere, sorry, inside the, the charge, and we're going to get divergence, okay? Um, here we're getting a couple of negatives in, but you can see the magnitude on the right of the positives would balance the few negatives that we have, and the negatives have a small magnitude. Uh, okay, and then ins and outs equal, 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 sum to zero, sum to zero. Do you want me to make the noise again? Woo! And so here we get uh, a convergence, okay? So it's the normal components, and oh, and then we put both of them in, and were you to add them up, it would equal zero. They're balanced. The flux is balanced in this case. So it doesn't matter what shape we use, okay? Uh, it could be a potato shape if we wanted to. Uh, the engineering tater, is that what it is? Okay. And then it's not the electric field, it's the normal components, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a, it, it can be any closed surface. Uh, any shape, but if we add up the normal components, and we're just graphing the electric field's negative components, they're going to balance if there's no charge inside. If there is a positive charge inside, uh, then it's going to be divergence. If there's a negative inside, it's going to be convergence. And if there is a net zero charge inside, they're going to be balanced. Make sense? Okay, so any questions on this? You can stop, doesn't it?